My name is uh, Latanya Wolves. I'm a resident of Oakland, California. I am a, a disabled senior um, and the programs of Medicare and Medi-Cal um, programs. And it's, the cuts is really, um, it's just taking a, a real, real uh, horrific impact on trying to survive. Uh, I had to go to get a prescription. I mean, I've heard other people say things about, oh, their medicine's expensive, they had to pay this or add something on to it. I went to get my medicine and there was so much drama and confusion behind getting my medicine, hypertension medicine. My blood pressure was 200, over 200 ready to have a stroke right before Thanksgiving and had to wait five days to get my medicine. That's the most scariest position one can be in. Um, and then to get the medicine and get the wrong medicine. And then to wait for the approval. And I mean, it's, it's so scary. And if it happens to me, I can only imagine what's going on to other people with medicines that's needed to stay healthy or to survive, to help survive. I've been impacted as far as medical, uh, food, you know, when you're on a fixed income and you're trying to stretch it between rent and um, the little bills that you have to survive the whole month, it's not very much. And then to take that away when you've worked so hard all your life thinking that you wouldn't have these problems when you become a senior, you know. And it's really, um, it's taken a lot out. It, it's, it's done nothing but made me angry enough to speak out, to become an advocate. Mm -hmm. I was homeless. Uh, it's, it's hard. People aren't out here on the streets because they're doing drugs or they like it out here or they want to be out here. Everybody is. Not, that's not the case at all. It's really, it's bad. We need help. We don't need any more cuts. I probably have to get back into a shelter again. Instead of moving forward, I have to step back to survive. Or get housing because it's a choice between paying rent, eating, medical. Uh, affordable housing is not what they're calling affordable by our, our budget when you're senior disabled on SSI disability. It doesn't go far. And when you have cuts being made to that left and right, it's even worse. To try to live on the amount of money that's given and that you felt that you put aside for a rainy day or was taken out all your life as a worker, and when you fall back in need and find out it's not, you're homeless. And it's cold, it's scary, it's, it's, it's bad. We need help. We, seniors, I'm an advocate of hope and justice, seniors. We are productive people. We have a, a physical condition that we have to learn to live with to survive, but we're still productive. We still have a lot to give back to the community. We have a lot to contribute to others and helping others and speaking out for those who can't speak for themselves. That's why I'm sitting here. I, there's one thing I can do is speak, even with the dis disability that I have. And I, I promise I'm going to keep speaking out until I die. I'm going to speak out. Mm -hmm. I got to continue to speak out for those who can't speak for themselves. I want to tell the governor to please leave Medi-Cal, Social Security alone. The education, leave it alone so our children can be able to take care of themselves, at least have a chance to be successful. If you keep cutting the school programs, the education, how will they, how can they do anything if they can't read or write or spell or be able to survive um, on a corporate level or on a productive level. What? It leads to nothing but destruction. You say you want to cut out the, uh, the drugs on the corners, then quit cutting the programs for the children. Quit cutting the programs for the seniors. That would help the crime. That, 
it, it will help a lot. And, and then like we can work together as a community because we are a village. Oakland is, West Oakland is a village. We're a village of people. We're diverse peoples. We have a lot to give. It's affecting all of us. Our children are being lost in the system when you cut the school, the education for the school. When you're cutting the medical, we're unable to take care of the kids who's now a part of the system for the seniors or the grandparents, the ones who can. What about the children that are on scholarships, going to school, trying to get out of the situation? How can they continue on if they're on an academic scholarship and you're cutting the, you're cutting the budget? Stop the cuts, please, is what I would say. Have compassion on the people that you're serving. Stop being a terminator.